should I uh, find faith on the earth? Yeah, that's, that's right. The Lord himself said somebody can grab that one. All right? We have to, he's looking for that. Okay, and when we get a Hebrews 11, it'll tell you, uh, we're going to get it, but it'll tell you that the Lord is not, um, cannot be pleased if you, with, without faith. Okay? It is impossible. Okay. Ephesians 2 and 8. For by grace are you saved through faith. Yep. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of your own. Yeah, so faith is a gift that is given to us, okay? And everybody doesn't have it. Okay. Right? Now, now some will, uh, uh, it'll grow once they begin to see, physically see things happen. Then they'll be able to, 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 to believe in the unseen things. But for some of us, we already have the gift of faith when nothing's happening. Okay, that we that we now see these things coming to pass that we believe of, of, the, of the miracles that took place in the ancient world and the miracles that'll take place in the, in, a, in the near future. You have more, right? Yeah, that was it. You have more, right? Uh, you got something to go with? That was the point of the Go get them, we got some. Luke. John. Let me go then. John okay. chapter 20, 20, verse 29. Okay. Yep. Yahweh Shah said unto him, Thomas, because yep. thou hast seen me, that has believed. Now this is called uh, doubt, doubting Thomas is what it's known as. Okay, it took someone, it took uh, Thomas to see the actual scars and so it's going to explain it uh, of our Lord, right? Of yep. the Messiah. And that's that, you know, that could represent the, you know, the, the people yep. that come in in the 11th hour. Man. That's right. They're they going to see the miracles and then now they, they see somebody be healed, see somebody resurrected from the dead. That'll, that'll cause somebody to, to believe. Yeah, because the Lord, you know, when he addressed those, uh, the, the, the wicked scribes and Pharisees, yep. the generation that rejected the Lord, he basically told them that basically you, uh, uh, you're, you're an adulterous and sinful gen uh, generation mm -hmm. and they seek after a sign. Yep. You know what I mean? And, you know, Jake, they needed something to tangibly see in order for them to, to, to believe it. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, and the Lord was performing miracles amongst them the whole time. All right. Mm -hmm. So even in this time, the Lord is showing all type of clues. He's showing all type of uh, uh, tokens. Tokens. Yep. And we we're we're seeing the signals, and it's even off, it's, it's uh, amplifying our faith even more. But the rest of these people, because they're blinded, they're, they still they're still uh, uh, with incredulity. Yep. Just they still believe. have incredulity. Yep. It's just unbelievable. Yep. yep. Start back up on the top. John yep. twenty and twenty nine. Yahweh Shah saith unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Start at 28, start at 28. Verse 28, and yeah. Thomas answered and said unto him, my Lord and my power. Let me start. Yeah, get, get the meat off of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, verse uh, 26. The Bailey Thomas didn't believe the report that he was being given. He's like, ah, I'm not going to believe that. I got to see something. You got it? Verse 26, and after eight days again, yep. his disciples were within and Thomas with them. Uh -huh. Then came Yahweh Shai, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst and said, Peace unto you. <laughs> then said he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side, and be not faintless, but believing. Yep. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my power. Yahweh Shai said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, Thou hast believed. Bless it. The people don't, people ignore the fact that people that look just like you are already standing on the corner warning you about things that, to come in the future. That's not enough of a sign for you. You, you, need, you need us to be over here levitating before you want to hear what we're really talking about. You want us to be over here performing miracles and flying and doing all this other crazy, I don't want to say crazy, but things that you can't even fathom yet. If you don't believe in the information that we've been given on such a short level, to have faith in what we're talking about because we're showing you out of the book and breaking it down to where it makes real reality sense okay if that's not enough of a faith booster for you then we don't know what it's going to take it's literally going to have to take a miracle you got it blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed blessed are they who have not seen and yet believe okay it's cool when you have the miracles of, of, of seeing a miracle i mean uh, and uh, and you're, uh, somebody floating or being healed or food come out of nowhere, all that's great, right? But what about the special activity, the spirit that the Heavenly Father put on certain people to be able to see things before they happen? Right. Okay, that's a special position uh, with the Most High, okay? Not everybody's on that level, and, it, and it's okay if you're not. It's that you believe or don't believe, yeah. all right? That's the main thing. 
But what is it going to take? Is, is, is this man really going to have to come and hit you over the head before you understand that he's the devil? Are we really going to have to continually predict these things? I hate to say predict, but that's the word that you people understand. Predict these things until you get it, that we're prophesying unto you about the things to come. All right, that It's really till they happen. That's right. And, you know, when these, when these prophecies begin to, to pop off, you know, then the people want to want to come in and mm -hmm. have faith for, but for a lot of them, it's going to be too late. That's yep. why we're out here now proclaiming this truth and telling you Israelites to repent and, and get right. And you have to build your faith up to a certain point. That's right. You know, you, you're just not going to just come into the truth and say, oh, I got faith now. Mm -hmm. No, you, the Lord has got to build you up, you know, and that, that building process, you know, it's only a few people that's going to be able to cram. Right. You know, everyone else, yeah. you know, is going to be stuck out there with, yeah. with that, that little little bit of faith. And that little bit of faith is not going to get you through the hour of temptation when it's all said and done. And you know, if I may add, you know, one more point before you, you give it back to the brother. See, this was Apostle Thomas. Yeah. He was one of the 12. Yeah. So he was among the presence of the Lord. The Lord actually allotted him to be one of the chosen for the foundation of the world. And even that man, him being yeah. in, the, in the position that he was in, being one of the chosen uh, uh, elect, even he had uh, 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 doubt. Right. And so that's not to say that, you know, at times your faith is not going to waver. Yeah. Yeah. We all have those, you know, moments when we waver, we get a little weak. Yeah. Peter. That's true. Yeah. That's what I'm you know, saying. Yeah. Peter, when, when he stepped out on, on the, on the yeah. water from the boat. He initially he started. Believed. He started to, you know, get anxiety and started panicking a little bit, mm -hmm. and he started to notice he was going sinking <laughs> into the water when he did that. He, he removed his mind from a spiritual, uh, um, a spiritual content of, of the moment into a carnal content of like this ain't physically possible. Yeah. And when he started trying to think with a carnal mind, yeah, to, that's when he started to sink. Trying to ration it. Yeah. Uh, how the hell am I doing this? The Lord was like, Oh yeah, little. How many times did you have to say the Oh yeah, little faith? Onto, onto, onto the twelve. Yeah. You know, you have more to, 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 to speak right. on because this brother's still reading. But. Yeah, yeah. I was just saying, dealing yeah. with Thomas. You know, he basically when Yahweh Shai came back, you know, after the after the third day, he appeared unto them, and you can tell that he didn't appear. He didn't appear to them the same as that in, in the exact same form. Mm -hmm. But he still made sure he had those uh, bruises. Yep. And, you know the 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 the, 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 wounds. Wounds, the wounds from the piercings, yep. just to show them that I'm 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 he. It's the same guy. This yeah. is me. Yeah. And I did not when was not when I was with y'all. I told y'all these things. Mm -hmm. You know. So hey, that can happen, man. So how much more the rest of this world? That's right. You know. Those that have been given that gift. Yep. You Verse thirty and many other signs truly did Yahweh Shai in the presence of his disciples, mm -hmm. which are not written in this book. Yeah, he did a lot of different things to build your faith up, but even in that moment, Thomas didn't have the high level of faith that he needed. But, you know, we know that he was written, like the brother said, written before uh, the foundations of the earth. Now you have to go back, right? Uh, uh, the one at Luke. I got, oh, Luke you 18. had it? Luke, Luke 18? 18? Yeah. Oh, you can get it. Okay. Sure. Yeah, you can get it. This is Luke 18 and 7. And shall not the Most High avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him? Though he bear long with them, mm -hmm. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Yep. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. Yeah, he avenges them speedily. We have to believe that. And we're looking in the face of, like I just, you know, uh, screen recorded a, a, a video of all the toys Esau got. He got Coke machines. He got robotics and all the killer robots. He got drones. He got everything set up to control the masses of his new world order. But what? But what? But what do we have to have to defend that? We have to have faith that the Lord is going to perform His power and His miracles for us to take care of us in that day. Okay, that's why He has to give us these extraterrestrial spiritual bodies. Okay, we have to have that to 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 uh, to, to be able to be all right in this day. Now He's going to make it. To where we're gonna we might be dodging them for a while but eventually like like neo in the matrix he's gonna have to face that smith okay and and that's when when neo be, began to believe that's what that's the same correlation of when we're gonna have to have that belief on 10 or 100 or whatever you know at, to the max at that point okay you got it? Uh, this is matthew 10 and 28 and fear not them which kill the body 
but are able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Yeah. Hey, this man can only kill you in the flesh, but if you understand reincarnation, you understand the death process, you don't have to worry about the fear of death, especially if you're doing the righteous thing, pleasing the Heavenly Father, proving your faith. Okay? If you're doing that the right way, you got nothing to worry about. Okay? But you have to be through these, you have to go through these little tests mm -hmm. first to be built up. You, you're not just gonna be like, okay, I got faith today. No, it don't work that way. He's gonna send you through through these different uh, trials and tribulations that are gonna, go, somebody get uh, Romans 5. Yep, yep, I was doing that. I was already at Romans. Yep. Whoever, uh, whoever got it. Five. You can start at 1. Right. This is uh, Romans 5 and 1. Uh huh. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with Yahweh. We're, we're justified in the laws that we can't keep. We're justified because of the faith, because we keep them to the best of our ability through faith. Because we are in a grace period. It's not because you mess up, you automatically get, 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 get killed or, you know, destroyed off the earth. We have a chance to get this thing right through the spirit. And, 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 and the tying it into the spirit is through having this grace period and exercising your faith to keep it. Okay, uh, to quote Romans, uh, the, is it the third chapter? Yeah, if you got it right there, is it the last verse, 31? Oh yeah, for Get uh, that real quick, Baba Kuzar. God, this is uh, Romans 3 and 31. Yep. Do we that make void the law through faith? The most I forbid. Yeah. yeah, we establish the law. It proves our faith by keeping the law to the best of our ability. We can't keep it perfectly in captivity and in this situation, in these bodies and everything, but we still have to rehearse those righteous acts. We still have to practice these things and they're gonna build your faith up. You'd be surprised what you think you couldn't keep. Like when we first came in, you know, we was keeping a few things, but as time has gone on, there's little, oh, I can keep this this way. I can do this this way, okay? Ways to keep the law. Though the law don't save you, your faith saves you, but your faith is proven by your works that you do in the law. So go back to uh, the fifth chapter. Yeah, yo, it, it, it's more so about your obedience to the Heavenly Father. Right. You know, no matter, you know, when he uh, put you through, if you're still obedient to him and you still do what's required of you, that's what the Lord looks upon. Because even um, the, the, uh, the, the Israelite foreigners, the so-called so Gentiles, they didn't, they wasn't uh, under the law. They didn't, they didn't have the law. Yeah, yeah. So the Lord just gave them, uh, the Lord had Apostle Paul give them standards to follow, mm -hmm. but that wasn't what made them righteous. Mm -hmm. What made them righteous was they, they didn't get to see the yes, miracles uh, that uh, Yahweh Shai did. They didn't see Yahweh Shai uh, uh, get nailed on the cross mm -hmm. and, and, and resurrect, you know, after the third day. They didn't see none of these things. But yet they heard the gospel of, of being preached, yep. and they heard it and they took it as the as as the truth. Yep. You know, without having uh, uh, seen what yep. went down back in Judea and Jerusalem, mm -hmm. these were Israelites that were way away from Jerusalem. Yep. You know, right. so all they had was just word of mouth, and, and because they, they believe. wholeheartedly believed it and sacrificed their lives to come in, mm -hmm. that that's what the Lord looks upon. That's uh, uh, righteousness. That's right. That's faith. Beautiful. Not your ability to just, oh, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't eat pork no more. Okay, mm -hmm. that's good. I don't, my blessed life. But, you know, anybody can, can, you know, curb that. But what about you coming out on the highways and hedges? Mm -hmm. Persistently. Denying yourself. Denying yourself, you know, uh, uh, giving your body as a uh, living sacrifice. Right. You know what I mean? What about that? Knowing you know, that persecution is going to come upon you. We know that this stuff is real because it has to happen. Okay, and you can't truly be tested in your faith if if, if everything is what is say a, 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 a friend cannot be known in prosperity. In, in, no, no, in, prosperity. In prosperity, and an enemy cannot be hid in yeah, adversity. Yeah, yeah. You know something to that effect. I believe that's the rack eleven. You have you have more, right? No, that was the point. What? Uh, and then uh, Matt, you had something, Matthew. I thought. Was it, um, you, you read Luke you read already. Luke. I read Luke 18. You were looking for um, something. I read Matthew um, 10 and 28. Okay, come on. And then um, this brother wanted me to get uh, Matthew 23 and you uh, could. I got 27. I got you. I got it. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are like unto 
Why did Septicers, uh -huh. how you say the word? Sepulchers. Sep 